Good morning, everybody. Happy Hump Day. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for being here. And as you can see, we are continuing on with our five-day beginner program. This is on Hump Day, day number three, focusing on balance. The time is going to be a, bit, a little bit longer. I'm adding 10 seconds to it. i um, going to pull back a few moves. So it's going to be in a 45-15 tempo, 10 different moves, two times through, 20 total minutes, all balance. Um, on that balance, I want you to focus on not so much the move, but focus on one side and the other. If you find yourself bobbling, get a couple of chairs nearby. If you're just doing this for 45 seconds and that's all you can do, I'm okay with that. The goal is to shift and be able to use each side um, laterally in a good way. Um, and that's kind of the idea is working on balancing both sides. Uh, a lot of times if you have a compensation, one will take over and then you have injuries and things and you're prone to that. All right, let's get started. Let's cross our chest opposite knee to elbow. Let's do some warming up. This is all body weight, no dumbbells needed. Um, one of you mentioned that you like to do it barefoot. I agree, I think that was Sarah. Barefoot is best. If you do it in Crocs, that might make it a little bit more difficult, too, because they're spongy. Reach and stretch. Kick that opposite arm back. <clears throat> Let's go elbow strike. Bring it around. Give yourself some space. We're going to go to prisoner lunges. Shoulders back, chest out. Chin up, drop that back knee, alternate. Let's reverse lunge, touch the ground. If you've made it to this point after the first two days, you're still doing it, congratulations, keep up the good work. All right, let's get a little heart rate going. Let's just jog into place. If you don't want to jog into place, you can just march opposite knee, opposite elbow, running it. Just want to loosen the legs up. A lot of this is leg balance stuff, but it's also involving the core. Reach and stretch. Let's speed it up a little bit. Cross, reach, kick that opposite arm back. Also working the core oblique, so when you're doing this. <clears throat> Cross your chest, opposite knee to elbow. All right, arms out, palms up, forward roll. We are about to get started and have some fun. Pump cell, reverse that pterodactyl. And under over scissor. Nice and loose, slap the wings. All right. First move. Again, it's 10 different moves on a 45 15 tempo. We're balancing on the right. That left knee is up. A chair on either side is perfectly okay. I want all the pressure on the right. If you're doing a bunch of this, a bunch of toe taps, you're taking away from the purpose behind it. You want to make sure you're engaging that right side. It's flamingo punch, left to right, a little cross punch. This is the next step. If you can't do that, just hold here and balance. Wonderful to see you guys. Blake, the kid in the house, so spun out. Good to see you so spun out. Believe it or not, when you're working balance, it's also working your core. Your core is a big part of your balance. So when we're doing that, I might even say flex your abs. If you feel bobbly, flex the abs. That'll help you regain focus and balance. We're getting started. T minus 10 seconds. On the right first. Four seconds. Three, two, one. One, left knee is up, cross punch, and this is just what I call a flamingo punch. And it's a cross punch because you want that twisting motion. Again, working abs, that's core. Try to keep that left up. Twenty 
20 seconds. Ten seconds. Oh, four, three, two, one. Awesome. We're switching sides. Flamingo punch on the left. Now these these particular moves are basically all fitness levels. What makes it a little bit more of a beginner is a lot of times on the time under tension or this balance. Let's go left side. On the balance, I'll do longer. We'll do a 50 or a 60 second tempo on this. We, we shaved off about five seconds, but I believe in you guys. And also, it's day three, so we're raising the bar. And you're going to bobble at times, as you can see I just did. But the goal is to regain, refocus, and get that balance back. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, switch sides. We're going to get a little movement here on the low body. This one's a little bit more difficult. Again, if you want to keep a chair on your side, we're going to go back to the right side balance. In three, two, one. Watch what I'm doing. I'm coming down here. I'm doing a little heel tap, knee raise. Balance here. That heel tap, you want to keep that pressure off the heel. You just want a light touch to the floor and then drive it up. So it keeps that pressure back here. Anchored on the glutes, the hammies. Ah, you're feeling it up to your core. Good movements. Again, I'd rather you grab the chairs or on the wall or something than keep put any pressure on your left, even on that heel tap, it's very light. Three, two, one. We're going to switch sides, no? On the left, all right, same thing. Bounce on the left, heel tap on the right. There's so many high intensity interval training workouts out there, or AKA HIT. Heel tap, right side, drive up that knee. But often overlooked is the balance version. Such an important aspect in fitness. If you are imbalanced, you are more prone for injury. I know it's not as cool as hit, but you can't be cool and hit if you're not balanced because you might get injured. And I don't want that. Oi. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. I want to give a quick shout out to So Spun Out. So Spun Out. Totally not necessary, but thank you very much for uh, that super chat. Totally nice of you. All right, we're going to balance on the right. I like the name, by the way. All right, slow runner. On this slow runner, this is a kind of a beginner version. I want you to come up here. You want to pause here. You, if you want to get as close, as close to your knee, to your elbow as you can, and you're going to drive down. Now, on the advanced version, we don't touch. Today, I just want you to slightly hit the floor, coming right back up, balance here. Spend more time here than coming down. A slow runner. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Man, switch it. Same thing. So bounce on the left. We're driving up with the right. Again, the pause is up here, really wanting to spend time on this upward motion. Light touch, light toe touch on the floor. And two, one. Let's go. And then coming back down. Pause it, pause it, pause it. Again, not a fast movement. Slowing down the muscles, engaging. 
20 seconds. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one. My goodness gracious. So spun out. Totally not necessary. These are free workouts. They're for your enjoyment. Come on. Appreciate it. My goodness. All right, on the right, we have knee taps. Knee taps. Balance on the right. Left to the knee. Coming down, kicking back with opposite hand. And then all the way back up. Right side. Coming here to the knee. If you can't get to the knee, you just want to slowly, even if it's the thigh, if you want to go to the advanced version, it's beyond the knee. That's fine. Keep the balance. Fifteen seconds. I always appreciate Super Chats too, one, but definitely never solicited. I definitely want you to enjoy it for free if you can. All right, on the left, and you can, you're here. <laughs> I do appreciate it, very nice of you. So, so spun out. All right, let's go. To the knee again, we switch sides, we're on the left. I'm just not occasionally I've never had anybody do three in a row like that. I hope that wasn't a typo or a miss you know mistake. Focus on the balance, keep it up. Five seconds. Four, three, two. One, all right. We're getting a little bit more difficult now. This is the Captain America. We're holding it for the end. Again, if it's a move you're struggling with, I just want you to balance with your high knees. If your knee is as high as possible, just hold it here. You don't have to do the movement. This is the next step. Here we go. On the right, slight squat. Now it's the opposite hand. Cross and kick that opposite arm back. All the way back up. Drop down, squat. And all the way back up. Squat, balance, hold it. Captain America. Bring it up. Good control. Four seconds. Three, two, one and time, switching sides. All right, we're switching on the left, Captain America on the left in five seconds. Again, hold it here, and then when you're ready, go to the next level, slight squat, and then cross, down punch. Here we go. Bring it back up. Good control. Squat down. Cross punch on the side, Captain America. And I always want to drive that knee up. Good balance. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Four. Three, two, one. Well done. You've made it through the first round. Let's rock through that next one. So we're doing everything all over again. Flamingo punch on the right. <laughs> Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's go cross punch. You know what's really invaluable in this community is just investing in one another. I mean that sincerely. I'm not trying to be Mr. Humble Guy. But coming here, leaving comments, supporting one another in this community, it's invaluable to me. Not that I'm minimizing Super Chat. I totally appreciate it. 
Um, I just don't want feel, people to feel obligated for that. It's why I've kept this on the YouTube platform. I want you to feel like you have access to this and you don't have to invest. I have a website. You can pay for that. That's fine. I appreciate that. That's why I make my money. Four seconds. Three, two, one. Oh. I don't like to talk about this on the workout. So just, I mean, I don't want you to spend all your money so spread out. <laughs> all right. Other side, flamingo. On the right. And two, one. Raise that right knee. Cross punch. Flamingo punch. Good control, you got it. Almost there, 15 seconds. 10 seconds. I know balance doesn't seem like much, but if you're doing this, you're seeing you're seeing the difficulty in some cases. And two, one, as many of you know. Okay, we're balancing on the right heel tap. That heel tap, again, is light. You barely want to touch that floor. We're on the right side, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's go, light heel tap, drive up that knee. Again, focus, flex, core. Hold that position. You may bobble a little bit, no problem. If you happen to bobble, stop. Don't move, flex the abs, regain the balance, and then go back to it. Five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, switch sides. Heel tap on lift. Right's doing all the movement. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. I call this I call this one a beginner, but it's also like a rehab. So if you're struggling, um, or if you're coming through injury, something like this. Slower movements, focusing on form. You're less likely to tweak something or re-injure something. This is also a good recovery workout. And if you realized, you have time under tension on the right side the entire time. Constant time under tension. <clears throat> 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Oh, beautiful. Slow runners on the right. Again, on the slow runners today, I'm allowing you to touch your toe to the floor and then drive up. You want to pause here at the top. If you are advanced and you don't want to touch the floor, I mean, raise the bar. Let's do it. Slow runner right here. Pause it. Light touch. Balance. If you can get your knee to your elbow, that's even better. But if, you're, if you can't, that's not, that's not the main thing. You want to keep raising the bar each time. <laughs> 10 seconds. Five, four, three, Two, one, well done, switch sides, slow runner on the left. So sp <laughs> Three seconds, two, thank you. One, let's go, slow runner. Balance on the left. Own it. F 
four, three, two, one. All right, relax. All right, so we've got we've got knee tap on balance on the right. So we're back to the right. And three, two, one. Here we go. To the knee, to the floor, or just balance. Even if it's a slight, even if it's just above the knee like this, you want to keep trying to tease it further and further. That twist and even extending that arm makes it a lot more difficult. That starts to engage the flexor muscles. Hitting down by the calves and the feet. Very important as well. Five seconds. Three, two, one. All right. We're getting to the home stretch. Keep up the good work. We're on the left. Got some more fun stuff for tomorrow. Stick around for that. We're going live again. Same time, same place. Keep it in two, one. We're on the left. Let's go. Nice work, guys. So spun out. It's the first time I've seen you, but thanks for being here. I want to say, please come back and feel free to enjoy it for free and enjoy the community because that, my friend, is priceless. The community in this, in this particular channel, I am partial, but they are amazing. And they will love you like one of their own time. All right. Two, let's get it done. Bouncing on the right. Bouncing on the right. Some of these people have been following me for years. And they've, it's like a family. Someone new comes in, they treat them like family. Squat down, cross, reach, and kick that opposite arm back. Oh, 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 yeah. Kick back. Bring it up. Maintain the balance. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Hang in there. I know this is the tough one, but we got it. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. You are engaging. Trust me. You're engaging your muscles. All right, on the left. It's also a good warm-up for evolution. Some of you getting ready to start that in about 20 minutes. <laughs> All right, let's go. Squat down, cross punch, opposite hand, kick that opposite arm back. All the way back up. This one's a little different than toe tap because under, understand we're squatting now. I didn't explain that on the last round. Kick it back. Twenty seconds. Oh, hang tough, guys. T minus ten. We're almost there. If you're sticking around live, I will give you a shout out. I just didn't have a time. You know, when you're when you're bouncing, it's hard to read these comments. Oi, that's time. Ooh, check it out. She got that balance. Oh, yeah. Loosen up the legs. We did everything one on each side. All right. Well done. Well done indeed. I'm going to turn this off for a second. And we're going to get started on a little stretch. If you're going to be close today, we're going to be bending at the waist. On that bending at the waist, we're going to kick your hips back. So it's a hinge. You don't want to just roll over like that. You see what I did with my spine there? Kick the hips back. And then wherever that stops, right there, then at this point, then you can slowly drop down. If you can't touch your toes, don't worry. Wherever that tension is at, just hold it there. Slightly bend the knees, slowly bring yourself back up, starting with your lower back to the center. 
and then roll the shoulders back. We're going to do that one more time. Deep breath in through your nose. Hinge the hips back. Exhale, bend, and then nice and easy. Relax the head. Slowly bring yourself back up. All right. Wall or chair, if you have that chair nearby, we're grabbing our right again. We want to stretch out here. Today, we're going to try to lean forward if we can. Um, if you have to hold on to a chair like next to you, that's fine. Um, if you don't, go ahead and raise that other hand in front and just go to focus on something. Don't take your eyes off it. That'll help with the balance. And go ahead and relax. Same thing on the other side. Balance on the right, grab the left. Lean forward. Reach out, right side. Awesome, and relax. We're going a little wider now. We're gonna do the same movement, but wider stance. Deep breath in, reach out, and bend at the waist, exhale to the floor or wherever you're at on the tension. Don't force, don't bounce. Just nice and easy, relax the head and the shoulders. And bring it back up again, lower back, and then roll the shoulders back. One more time, deep breath in. Reach back, open up that core, exhale, bend at the waist. And slowly bring yourself back up. Well done. There it is. Hump day. Happy hump day. And that's the balance day. That's day three of the five-day beginner training. And uh, we got two more days. Keep up the good work. If you've made it all three days, give yourself a good pat on the back. Keep it up. Hey, I told you, if you make it five days, you